How's it going everybody, Noble Warrior 99 here, and today I am back with another Daily Destiny video. Now in this video, I wanted to show you guys something new, or rather old, that I've had for a very long time, and this is one of the rarest piece of armor pieces that I have in the game, and I also wanted to show you guys a super rare sniper rifle that my friend ATX Tryhards is in possession of. Now if you guys remember the old Queen's Wrath event, now many of you guys are probably new to my channel and probably new to Destiny, although many of you have been here for a long time as well, but if you have been playing from the very beginning, you would know that there was a Queen's Wrath event near the very beginning of the launch of Destiny. Now the Queen's Wrath event was a very fun event, it was a PvE event, and that was when you could earn armor, sniper rifles, weapons, and just stuff like that, and you could get shaders, and there was an exclusive shader that not very many people had until Petrovenge arrived in the reef. But if you guys look at my hunter here, I actually have a helmet and a chest piece that many of you guys have probably never even seen. I would not suggest really using this at all, I never really use this, I just keep it for a keepsake or just to have it I guess and to show off to you guys. But both of these armor pieces were from the Queen's Wrath event and I was just wondering which of you guys have the Queen's Wrath event stuff? What is your rarest piece of armor or weapon? Now I'm going to show you the rarest weapon that ATX has, and this is called the Supremacy, but I do not believe many people have the gear, so I thought it would be cool to show you guys today and switch up things a little bit. Now, also, uh, one other thing that I want to show you guys was this emblem that I got. Now, uh, probably a lot more people will have this emblem just because it was more recent and more people were playing Destiny, but if you guys look at this emblem right here, this was earned from doing the six or seven Queen's Wrath bounties before House of Wolves launched and then after you did that on day seven you would complete a bounty and then you would get a certain Queen's blessing or reward or something like that and then if you took it to Petrovenge in the reef then you could actually pick up this emblem. Now, I do believe a lot of people have this emblem, but I just wanted to include it because it was a limited time event thing. Um, and then one last thing that I have is the blacksmith shader, which I got from Mesa Sean in a giveaway. Uh, but that's pretty cool, guys. That's pretty much the end of this video. Just let me know if you guys have any gear or weapons that are especially rare, even some emblems or shaders or something like that. I know the movie of the week emblem is pretty rare to get because you have to do something cool for that. But that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for some more Daily Destiny content. Also, if you would like to catch my live stream, check me out over on twitch.tv at noblewarrior99. And I try to live stream daily, but sometimes when I have baseball and stuff, I'm not able to do that. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day, and I will catch you later. Thank you very much for watching. This is Noble Warrior 99 and I'm out. Peace.